Hello, morning. Morning, children. Um, yeah, I've just landed a couple of sheep. Much to Vi's absolute joy um, that we're getting through them and getting rid of them because we're moving on to cows, which is more his thing. So I'm just gonna go around and make sure nobody's deed, um, basically. And yeah, this is just the stuff that I collected yesterday from the field. Obviously, I didn't. Um... So we have dumpy bags full of plastic, basically. Very exciting. And they just lie around for ages. And then we get them taken away. Um, electric fence. I'm channeling the Irish today. I'm just wishing I was Irish for some reason. After sleeping on the floor, I go and slipping out the door before you see my face. I'm slipping out the door before you see my face. But it didn't mean These two sheep thought they were really clever before they escaped. Both of them escaped from the stable where they've got like pet lambs technically. I'm not actually bothered if they don't go back, but to be honest, I think they're just gonna walk straight back in the stable. They've had a tour around the field, decided it's not for them. Come on, no milk. In theory, no milk should just go out. Go on. Aviation updates. There's a crazy helicopter flying over the farm. Hi, kids. Not had an aviation update for a while, have we? Spider cat's just caught a rabbit. Needless to say, she is very much recovered. Inky, you're vicious. You're vicious, kitty cat. So lambs are going out again. So um, I am just gonna go and get this straw off the trailer. We brought some straw back before, um, but it is um, all over the trailer. Inky's actually made a nest in it and she's now snoozing quite happily, but I'm going to steal it and I'm going to go and bed the pigs up. What do you think you're doing? Like taking steps is what I had to do. Cause a journey separated from a life that we had made It was the one and only thing that I just didn't want to do Cause love is all gone wrong Now I'm not saying, I'm not saying that Joe and Ollie would eat you if you turned your back on them I'm just saying they might have a little nibble on your legs so I've got them some feed Ollie, um, they definitely know how to make a mess Shiny, beautiful hair. You like a L'Oreal advert, Ollie. You need a haircut, Ollie. Lol. Ollie needs a haircut. Comment if you want Ollie to have a haircut. Look at that. Look at the length on that. The cold weather. Uh, we packed the pressure wash off into the office because. You do not want them pipes freezing and blowing, especially in things like that, it could break. So we've shoved it in the office um, just, to, just to keep warm and protect it, to be fair. But now um, the cold weather has passed, so I'll get it out again before long we'll need it for something. All this stuff here is from the lambing pens and that needs to go away. We did put it in there last year, but actually it's a pointless exercise. I think I might put it up there in the loft, but in order to do that, I'm gonna to need to clean the loft out because it is a mess. Those places that you just dump everything, water pipes, rubbish, foot baths, anything you can think of, we dump it on the loft um, along with hay and stuff like that. So I'll show you what I'm facing. Point. Um, I can hear a pigeon. One point, um, all of this was organised. 
I can hear a pigeon. Oh, up there. Nice. Hiding from me, are you? I bet you are. Don't we like pigeons? I hear you ask. Look at that there. In house in here. There's just bits of rubbish everywhere. So as Roy calls it, uh, F about Friday, should we say. Um, I thought before I put all the lamb and stuff away and just pile it on top, I'd actually make an effort to clean it and make it how it should be. Um, and then obviously we can fit more stuff in. It was nice to meet you. So we've got a bit of a clearer space now. All of the drainage pipes are at one end. We've covered the trap door over in case anything gets up here and um, they decide to fall down to the floor below. Piled some hay troughs up. A room for actually, you know, properly stacking stuff up. Play properly instead of like desperately throwing it in before it rains, that kind of thing. It's down here, things like that. They want to go up. Everything wants organising properly. Um, you know, we organise the front of the farm and then we kind of forget to organise the back of it. Just going to go and wash my hands because actually there could have been rats and mice and things up there and yeah, ew. And I do smell a little bit funky to be honest. All them drainage pipes have been there for a long time since we did the lane half of them. Um, so definitely a little bit. Thing is about things like that, they're going to come in useful for when we do the big shed out. So like... You can see it's up there. Can you see where that window was? Coming really useful. I should show you the plans for the shed, really. That's an interesting thing. It's asking. <laughs> I put it off because, like, it's not... It's a, Obviously, it's an ongoing project, but, like, it's not being done now this second, so I kind of put it off. I don't really want to, like... I don't really want them people that just talks the talk and doesn't actually do any action. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I know you've all been asking for me to do a shed plan. And what are we doing with the big shed? What are we doing with the big shed? Are we ever going into dairy? You know, that kind of thing. Well, Super Mario here is about to show you where we are up to, where we're up to. It was more, I didn't really have a right lot to say um, and I didn't think it was interesting, but apparently to you guys, it's really interesting. So shed plan is as follows. Here's Tiz. Shed plan has been designed by Lily. I will put it in the corner of the screen so you can, at the same time as um, seeing the actual shed you can visualize where these things will be where i am stood now this second corner here is going to be the bulk tank now for this reason we want it to stay clean tankers not driving through a load of mud like mud sorry i nearly said something else then mud and puddle to get to pick up the milk a little bit further along here in the pitch of there is gonna be the feed bins. So likewise, the wagon only has to drive along that clean bit of concrete to here. This is great. They wanna stay clean. They do not want to be driving through a load of mud and puddle and stuff like that. The area here is going to be like loafing area. There's gonna be quite a large amount of space here, to be honest. And then over there, probably where that bale is, and then a little bit further over, there is gonna be two robots. Behind the robots, in the corner, there's going to be a um, vet's area and an office. A little bit of a store in the corner to keep chemicals and such like. They're also going to have literally just, well, it's literally just here where this panel is. It's going to be a grazeway, so the cows are going to have access to the outdoors pretty much whenever they want. Um, it's quite an unusual farm in the fact that it sits right in the middle um, of the land and it goes 360 degrees all the way around, which makes it ideal for paddock grazing, ABC um, desperation um, down that way through the buildings and out into the fields there. We will be aiming to milk 120 jerseys and yet we are going to design the shed for 120 Holsteins. Therefore, they've just got more room, basically. And we've not limited it to um, breed. So we've not designed it around a jersey. We've designed it around, you know, just milking cows. So one day, say Rufus um, eventually takes over and he decides jerseys are not for him. He hates them. They kick. Oh, the sun. Oh, oh my God, that's so good. <laughs> we'll have three banks over there. One, two, three of 40 cubicles. Up that far side there, there will be a feed star system. In this system in, it was something actually I saw on, uh, there's a, a lass on 
social media, Jersey Cowgirl, she's called. And she was on TikTok and she did a TikTok of this cute little feed star system with a cute little song. And I went, oh, that's for me, that. I was sold at that video to be honest. Sold for the reason, if we were to get a road and build it down here, all the way down there, and then all the way down the back of the shed, the infrastructure that would have to go into that would probably be more costly at the moment, especially with the price of concrete and stuff like that and labor, than putting a conveyor belt system down there. So really all we'll need to do is just put a road to here, slightly a little bit further, it'll probably stop there. You'll drive along with your Keenan, you'll flop your door open and you'll push it out and then it'll get taken all the way along the shed by this conveyor belt. It's absolutely amazing. I'll find a video of it. I don't know if I'll be able to use her video if that's a bit rude, but I'll find a video of it working and I'll put it in for you to have a look at. That is what we're going for. We've already inquired, we've already got prices, etc., etc. It saves a lot of hassle. Um, and it means that we can feed the full length of that side of the shed as well. This building was from SNA Buildings, Barney Castle. The roofing is Eternit. The cladding hopefully will be also Eternit. We're gonna clad the front of it, which is gonna be amazing. We're gonna have this side obviously open. Don't know whether we're gonna have to consider putting curtains up. So the yellow thing there that I've talked about before, huge tank that came from the garage, that will also be sunk in and that will capture the rainwater and that will be used for washing out, etc. Then takes us to our existing cubicle shed, which needs a revamp, if I'm honest. Um, cubicles, mattresses, that kind of thing. We've got some new mattresses, but obviously the cubicles that will only tighten up for jerseys. They'll be more like the heifer cubicles that we've got, quite a lot smaller. Um, that will then become heifer housing and dry cow housing. And then obviously we've got the handling system, the carving shed there, which is in use as carving at the moment. And then further down from that, that was actually going to be um, like the calf building, but we don't know now. We're undecided what to do about calf housing, but it's an ongoing project, obviously. I turned some sheep out today and I want them in the same field as everybody else. So I'm just gonna take them all around so that none of them are left on their own and none of the lambs are left on the wrong side of the fence. It's a very slow process. So back to the big shed, even though we're not in it. Um, yeah, we have worked towards going into dairy for the last, well, since 2016 when we got here. And even before that, we had it in our mind that that's what we wanted to do before we even got the farm. Um, so things like large infrastructure has been put in place. So we've put the lane has been done to accommodate tankers coming down. The three phase has been put in already. Wanted to see me get battered. Now's your chance. ignore this um but i'm just gonna leave it to it we don't need to go in i'll show you on the camera they won't listen get out get out get out get out get out get out leave her alone cows are really nosy creatures and i mean really nosy go on girls and if something's carving or something's going on they automatically want to be in there with the nose Gigging in on it. Once the iPad is set up in the kitchen. Hello, Chicky. And down. Good morning. Good morning. Down. Pop. One more. And it's all on my leg. Goodness. Get that out. So sweet, baby. Get 
Sorry, sweetie. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Come. Let me take that off you. Good lads. Take it off. Good girl, well done. Nom. Lovely bull calf, another son to Chaz. The only reason we intervened is because it had been about an hour and a half while we had tea and there was no progression whatsoever. And in actual fact, she probably would have done it herself, wouldn't she? Um, she was like a cathedral. She was quite a lot of room inside, so she didn't take a lot of carving. There was no pain on that jack whatsoever. It was just a helping hand. We have all done it before where we've given them an extra half an hour and then, you know, it ended up that it was backwards or, you know, the vet was called because it needed a cesarean or something. So, yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There you go, you're a good girl, aren't you? With really big boobs. Really big boobs. <laughs> Testing these out to the max. So she is 2017 born. She was a calf the year after we got the farm, which was super amazing. It will be her third calf. Um, I'm sorry this video is late because it is late as well. Um, <laughs> and it's long. It's late and it's long. <laughs> do I make a video or do I go for a shower? I don't really know. <laughs> I'm a bit torn right now. <laughs> I'll go with making a video. I can stomach this for a bit longer for you guys. That is love, that is. I'll see you tomorrow. Give me <laughs>